All of us, we will go to the grave, we will die. Those who wish to live in Mars, on the moon, they will die on the moon and on Mars, they will die. You can fly whichever planet you want to fly to, you will die there. There is a time frame God has put for every human being. You cannot out, you know, you cannot surpass God's authority. You can't. This God, His name is Jesus Christ. Believe me. This has got nothing to do about this uniform that I'm wearing. Believe you me, it's got nothing to do of me being a Christian. Jesus Christ is God, period. Nothing to do with Christianity, nothing to do with Buddhism, Hinduism, Shintoism, Islamism, and they should have been all wasms instead of isms. But anyway, it's got nothing to do with it. It's got to do with the truth. There is one creator of everyone and everything. Please get it. This is not discrimination. This is not ju being judgmental. This is not attacking no one. This is the truth. God, his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whether we like it or not, accept it or not, believe it or not, one day we will come to this realization and this truth. We will face him. When this spirit leaves the body, I can assure you, you will not see Muhammad. You will not see Buddha. You will not see Krishna and the other 30 million gods in India. None of those gods will come because they are not gods. They are lies and false gods. For God's sake, you will only see one standing calling you, come and tell me. What have you done? His name is Jesus Christ. This is the truth. God, the creator of every human being. He loves us all. He wants everyone to come to know him. Please don't ever say he is the God of the Christians. Don't ever say that. He is God, the God of all. That's why church leaders you cannot share the same altar with someone who is not Christian and say we all pray to God. You're lying. This is not unity. This is denial of Jesus Christ in the core. You cannot bring all religions and all faiths of the world and you as a Christian pray together for the unity of all the religions. This is satanic. For God's sake, it's satanic. You're denying the true divine God. You are sharing your true divine God with false gods. There is no such thing as the Abrahamic faith. Please. No wonder the Lord is angry. You're telling me the Christians, the Muslims and the Jews share the same God? Excuse me? How? Anybody home? I'll go to the Muslim. I'm not judging. Please, please, I beg you. I'm not judging. I'll go to the Muslim. You know what? If a Muslim person comes and asks for my life, I'll give it. With a big smile on my face. I will put my life under their feet. But if a Muslim guy comes and says, you and I worship the same God, sorry, we don't. I'm sorry, but we don't. Because that's the truth, we don't. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as your God? He will say no. You believe in him as a prophet. You believe that he was not even crucified. And the core and the heart of Christianity is, is all about the cross. You take the cross out of Christianity, then what are we talking about? And you take Jesus Christ out of being the Son of God and God Himself, then please go home. What are you doing here? Muslims deny His divinity and deny His crucifixion. Then your God is not my God. Because Jesus Christ to me is God revealed in the flesh. This Jesus Christ was nailed on the cross for the salvation and the redemption of the entire world. Therefore, your God is not mine. My God is not yours.